Hi, this is Dave Obel with Glue Tread. Today we're going to talk about the sidewall seal kit. You may have already been familiar with the external patch kit, but the biggest request we got from our users is that um, we need to have something bigger, something to co cover more severe damage. So we came up with the sidewall seal kit, which measures 4.5 inches by 4 inches to cover more severe damage. Today we're going to show you how to mount that successfully when you're in the field. So we're going to create some sidewall damage on this tire. Um, you probably already took care of that part yourself. So here we go. I'm going to make a long slice down through here. There you go. You have your sidewall damage, pretty severe. Um, I'm going to show you how to repair it. You got to start uh, the process by cutting the tip off the adhesive so you can get it to flow. You can see a little bit came out there. Then put on the applicator tip. You need the applicator tip because you want to put small drops of adhesive on the edge of this cut. You may want to practice a little bit and make sure these edges are going to fold in right. And uh, you could do half of the cut at once. I'm going to try to do the whole thing by just putting little drops of adhesive. Make sure it's flowing. You can check it there. You don't want to do too much. Just put some drop. Oops, put some drops down through here. Normally, this tire is going to be on the vehicle, so it'll be in a different position. We're going to do the rest of the patch in the upright position. So as soon as you got those in there, then you can seal it up. And uh, kind of wipe off that excess. Don't use your finger, you'll get it stuck to the tire. So we're just gonna let that dry for a second and then sand off that excess adhesive. Now we need to take the include sandpaper and sand around the area that has the damage. You want to take off any smeared adhesive and uh, if you have tire lettering that goes into the damage, you've got to sand all that smooth. It doesn't take very long, but uh, that all has to be cleaned up and you want to leave at least a quarter inch around the damage. Half inch would be better. Use all you can that's available. So take the sidewall seal material from the package. This measures uh, 4.5 by 4 inches. Uh, again, a little bit thicker than the external patch kit to handle this severe damage. So we got to take and look at our damage and we want to custom cut out of this patch exactly how you're going to want to lay it on the tire. So we're going to cut a little arc here. We're going to cut some off here and then bring it around here. You can do that uh, with an X-Acto knife, a pocket, a pocket knife, um, heavy set of scissors. Any of it will work. So you can see, you just kind of make a cut. It's very easy to do. I'm going to make those cuts off camera and speed this up a little bit. Right now I'm just cutting the edge at a 45 degree angle to smooth the transition from the tire to the patch. It's not necessary though. So we set this patch to cover the damaged area. Any kind of marking device that you might have, a pen or anything, you can just trace the edge. You want to make sure that you're covering the damage and then when you place the patch back on, you're inside this perimeter. Right, so we got enough space here, enough space here and it will seal it up just fine. So I have the tire in the vertical position because that's the way it will be on your vehicle. Um, you start at the bottom of the patch and just put on a little bit of adhesive just to get it set. And you want to make sure your alignment's good and watch where you put your lines. And you stake this and then roll it up so you make sure you're covering the damaged area. You want to hold that for maybe 10 seconds just to make sure it's right. Again, I tapered these edges. You don't have to. 
and then hold that and then we're going to work our way up by adding adhesive and working our way up. I'm just putting the drops of adhesive on. It shows like the written instructions that are included in the kit. So hold that for 30 seconds. As long as it's dry, then do another row. Just putting the small drops along there. And working your way up. Uh, you can inspect the edges and just make sure you have adhesive all the way around. Let the gravity help you. You can put a little bit along the edge with the applicator tip. And then uh, just hold that down firmly for 30 seconds. You can wipe off extra adhesive or any adhesive that might have speared. This will help it cure faster. Just make sure we're all pressed down. Looks like it's in good shape. Um, you can test inflate even after 30 minutes. Um, if full cure time is one hour for a guarantee, that doesn't mean you can uh, have to wait the whole hour, but uh, you can start inflating after 30 minutes. If you notice adhesive is bubbling out, then you gotta just wait a little bit longer. So we have waited 30 minutes for the adhesive to uh, cure to the patch and the tire. Uh, we're going to inflate and check for leaks. Uh, you can see the as I inflate it stretch out and uh, we'll do the test. I'm going to check the pressure. We're at about 12 psi, which is plenty. And you were looking for leaks around these edges and I don't see any. Thank you for watching this video today on the large patch instructions. Everything I told you today are included in this instructions that are included in the kit. Thanks for watching and shopping bluecheck.com. <laughs>